Hey everyone, if you're facing the dreaded failed to initialize player error in Rust, you're not alone. A lot of players have been running into this issue and today we'll walk through some simple steps to help you fix it. Step one, remove DirectX 9 launch option. First up, if you've previously set Rust to launch with DirectX 9, DX9, this could be causing the issue. DX9 was supported in older versions of Rust, but after recent updates, it's no longer supported, which can mess with the game's initialization process. To fix this, go to your Steam library, right-click on Rust, and click on Properties. Under Launch Options, remove any DirectX 9 commands. Now you can set it to launch with DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. If your GPU supports DX12, try that first. But if it doesn't work, switch to DX11. One of these should work perfectly for you. Step 2. Next, let's talk about drivers. Many players facing this issue have outdated or corrupted graphics drivers. So make sure your NVIDIA or AMD drivers are up to date. For NVIDIA users, make sure you're using the full driver package by installing the latest version using the Express Installation option. This will automatically include all the necessary components, ensuring compatibility with both 32-bit and 64-bit applications. If you're using an AMD GPU, follow the same method, just download the latest drivers from AMD's official site and install them. This can solve most initialization problems. Step 3. Official Game Version As a final thought, many of these issues are caused by cracked versions or older releases of the game. These versions often have compatibility problems that prevent proper initialization. Always make sure you're using the official, up-to-date version of Rust, as sticking with the latest release can help avoid most errors. If you're using a 64-bit operating system, you generally don't need to worry about 32-bit drivers or utilities. Just download the latest drivers and let the Express installation do its thing. It will handle everything for you. And that's it. Now, if I talk about my experience, that as much as I know, remember that this problem isn't limited to NVIDIA users. Many AMD users have faced the same issue. It's not a fault of the graphics card, but rather outdated software or incorrect settings. Following the steps we discussed today should resolve the issue for both NVIDIA and AMD users. If these methods worked for you, let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful guides. Thanks for watching.